Welcome to Kids Cougars. I'm Evelyn and today is Monday, April 17th, 2023. Joining me today is my co-anchor, Carter. Hi Kids Cougars and welcome to this week's announcements. We have much to share with you today, so here are Riley and James with birthdays. Hey Kids Kids, welcome back to Spectacular Birthdays. This week's birthdays are Bennett, April 18th, Berlin, April 18th, Abby, April 19th, Aria, April 19th, Brady, April 20th, Liam, April 21st, Kaysen, April 23rd, Rosalie, April 23rd. That's all the birthdays, kids, kids. See you next time. Happy birthday, kids, kids. Let's now welcome Penny and Gracie with teacher interviews. I'm Penny, and welcome back to Talking to Teachers. I'm here with my partner, Gracie. Uh, today we are with Mrs. Shaw, our new fourth grade teacher. Good morning, Kurtz Cougars. Our first question is, what is your favorite food? Easy. I love cheese. You may have heard of vegetarians or pescatarians. I could be a cheese and eat cheese for every meal. Mm -hmm. Another question we have is, what is your favorite book? That question is not so easy. I love to read. I've read so many books and I love them all, but if you make me choose, I might choose because of Win Dixie. I love a good story about a dog and friendship, and this has both. Sounds like a good book. Uh, what's your favorite color? My favorite color changes based on my mood or how I'm feeling. So thanks to the sunshine today, I'm gonna say yellow because it's very sunshiny. Cool, the next question we have is what is your favorite school subject to teach? Reading or math, I think that I can't choose. I love them equally. Our last question is, who's your favorite celebrity? That's a good question. I don't watch a lot of TV or movies, but the last month I really got into the women's NCAA championship, and I was a big fan of Caitlin Clark and all that she did to make women's basketball become so popular. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. In spring, the weather changes from day to day. Make sure you pay attention to the forecast to know how to dress for recess. Now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let's rise. We have started the cereal box challenge. You can bring in cereal boxes, and in order to have a full course, we will we would love to have lots of boxes. Keep the boxes in your classroom. Fifth graders will be coming around to gather what is donated. Here's the cereal commercial. Hey, Courage Kids, I am Griffin. And I'm Amelia. We are, we are here, here to, to talk, talk about, about the big cereal, cereal box challenge of 2023. And it all starts mon today, Monday the 17th. Please donate unopened cereal boxes for our challenge. Any kind is welcome. What's your favorite cereal, Amelia? My favorite special K. What's yours, Griffin? Mine is Lucky Charms. Cool. The cereal boxes will be lined up on Wednesday the 26th to be knocked down like dominoes if the weather is nice, we can have this act activity outside and everyone can come and watch at 3 p.m. After the challenge, the delicious cereal we've done is community sharing to help those in need. By, By the, the way, way, kids will be coming, coming around the classrooms to collect cereal boxes, boxes that are brought in. See you at the cereal box challenge 2023 and thanks for helping others. Okay. Have a good day. Have a Tuesday and Thursday on this week, um, our fifth graders will be taking the M step. Please respect their learning by being quiet in the halls. Do your best, fifth graders, and show us what you have learned. On Tuesday, April 18th, is Kurt's take, of, take on McDonald's. See PTA communication for more information. Now this is, that's all for this week's announcements. Bye. Kids, just a reminder, don't forget to bring in sanitized cereal boxes for the cereal box challenge. Teachers, it would be helpful if you leave the cereal boxes outside your classroom door before 11 o'clock. 
Fifth graders are going to be coming around to collect cereal boxes. Make sure to bring cereal boxes that are full and unopened. 